You know, I just not got to finish uh, doing a job with Dex Appliance Repair. Uh, Love the Santee, he's out of, uh, he was a former member of Straightway, Georgia. And um, boy, is he glad to be out of the tyranny of that situation. And we're looking at the situation and they're like, we're just shaking our heads. But anyway, uh, polygyny. Polygyny, uh, it's a beautiful thing. And it's it's amazing to see uh, the people who practice polygyny uh, and to see their makeup. And it's amazing to see people that practice polygyny they either a don't have a job, don't have any stable income, or they work slave wage jobs. And polygyny is not for those types of of of, of people because what you're going to do is they're going to produce offspring that they don't know how to level up. They don't know how to do anything other than work a slave wage job. Now I'm not talking about a corporate job or. <laughs> where a job where he's making two hundred fifty thousand, three hundred thousand dollars. We're talking about uh, uh, you got cats mopping floors, working at Walmart, um, working at these low slave wage jobs, and and practicing polygyny. It really is a joke. Um, but what you see is uh, low minded, low quality people. How are you gonna have four wives and no job and no ability? to uh, uh, provide for that family. Think of the mentality of a woman that would join that kind of situation. So you got to understand something. Uh, real men of real skills and real abilities uh, that own businesses, those are the men that need to be practicing polygyny because we have infrastructure, we have ability, we have a, a vision that these men don't have. You can't tell me that a man that got two, three wives and is working uh, uh, mopping floors or as a janitor or uh, 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 plucking plucking chickens or working at tractor supply, uh, got a vision. You, you cannot tell me that shit. I'm sorry. They have no vision. Uh, poverty's on the plan. Poverty is the lifestyle. How are you going to tell me that this man, uh, perfect example, Rufus, got no job no business and got four wives what kind of quality of women would join that kind of situation no the men that needs to be implemented and associate you gotta i just want to focus on this you gotta understand the mentality of the quality of woman that will put herself in that situation you know that amount of game and i'm from new york city you know the amount of game that you got to spit, which is lies, uh, that you got to spit in order to entice a woman to uh, uh, be in an impoverished state? You know what kind of quality of woman she has to be? This is what I'm saying. The men that are polygynists that are actually getting after it, you can see the total difference in their lifestyle. You can see the total difference in the quality of the woman. Uh, uh, the women that they've acquired in their life, let me tell you, uh, uh, you can see the difference. I'm seeing polygynous couples that own businesses, that run businesses, uh, 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 men that are head of polygynous households and, and they have infrastructure and they take care of business, they have assets, and then you have these other men that are practicing polygyny and they're dusty broke. It's amazing. Polygyny is not for dusty, broke men. Uh, 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 no, it's not. It's for men that sincerely know how to level up in family, in business, and social economics. Polygyny is about social economics. It's about um, uh, the ability to not only to uh, have family and produce family, but also in addition to producing those that, that, that family to be able to provide a good quality life for their family. How is it that you're going to be a polygynous man and you can't provide a good quality life, a basic quality life? I'm talking about people that live below the poverty line, practicing polygyny. No jobs, 
practice and polygyny. Mopping floors, practice and polygyny. It is a fucking joke. <laughs>